Hello, we're Malta. We're doing two Maiolica urns. They are from Castelli, near Rome in Italy. They date from the Victorian era, so in this instance, probably 1860, 70, 80, 90. It's hard to, 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 to date to Maiolica. So they're Maiolica, Majolica, um, which is the same as a Faience in France, the same as Delftware, sort of tin glaze in Holland. And it's the same as Minton's in England, or George Jones in England, or Bermontoft's in Leeds in England, where the same sort of thing was made. But the English ones were not made quite so um, rusticated. The, 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 some of the Minton's, for example, the detail was much more industrially accurate and the manufacture was more controlled. So these go back to, to a very ancient form of pottery. And... Um, Everyone knows about the Alborellos, everyone knows about the normal types of pottery which the, the collectors want. Um, and the early pottery is made on a wheel with a ball of clay, like in the film Ghost, That's, that is potting, a potter makes an Alborello. Alborello. Um, these, these aren't made on a wheel because they're a strange shape. So these are, the pedigree here is pouring, Jug ewer, but they're not ewers, they are urns. Now, these are unusual because they're double sided, and unfortunately, there are four scenes, which means decoratively, if you want to look at the whole thing, you're really up against it. You, you can't put them on a sideboard. These are made, made, made to be proudly displayed in a large room on a, on a couple of centre tables, so that's where they're from. They're not flat on the back, like an English Staffordshire figure which were all made to go on a, on a narrow mantelpiece. These are very proud, distinctive things. I don't think they would put, put, put soil in it and put plants in it. I don't think it was used for food. I think it was used as a, as a vase, in essence, or, or as a, an ornament with, with nothing in it. The difference between an alborello and a circular pottery dish or plate is these were not made on a wheel. The reason is you can't pot them. So what's happened here is they've used plaster moulds to make them. So they would have, would have had uh, two moulds made of plaster which were stuck together and they would have made this section on its own to start with. So they would have poured into this plaster mould which would have been bound with leather rope, leather straps, a slip. A slip is a very liquid pottery. Fundamentally it's a pottery which is extremely fine it's uh, become soluble and there's enough water in it so you can pour it like you're pouring milk. So they pour in this um, slip into the mould and they have to slosh it around evenly. What happens is as they slosh it around, the slip sticks to the plaster and the skill is getting it to, to stick all over it on the inside so that there's no thin bits which will slash like an Easter egg. And there's no, also they don't want big clods where it's all coalesced. So what they did is they made that, then they made these separately in a similar way and applied them afterwards when the clay was still wet. Quite difficult. And the thickness is even, and they're a substantial thing. This has had a break in it, which has been glued. I'm not surprised it's had a break in it. So they take the main part of slip clay, dry slip clay, and they then use a knife and they, they, they trim it off was taken off the mould they will if it's a seam they would have removed the seam as well and with a wet hand they would smooth it all smooth it all over and you can see that effect inside that's how this accounts for the uneven shape and it accounts for the fact that it hasn't gone round and round this was not made by someone pressing clay and building it up it just isn't possible to do that in this sort of thing so there's two this scene here Farming scene, pastoral scene, a, a lamb, a family, a child. This scene here <clears throat> similar. But these are not transfers, these are hand painted. And it's not even transfer outlines. This is the thing you've got to look for. These are Caterids. Uh, C A T A R I D S Caterids. And in this case, they're winged catarids, the Greek thing which the Romans used and of course the Italians had. 
This one here, rural scene, milkmaid, milk, cow, sheep, beautiful, really nicely painted, very, very laborious. As I say, I keep saying it, there's no transfer and there's no outline of transfer. Last scene, there's some blaze missing there, which is nice because it shows a spontaneous manufacture. I don't think it's dirt on top. It might be dirt on top. The, the thing about Mialica is it, it, it's imperfect. Um, you have inherent de de defects in the manufacture. You have nibbling and flaking, and bubble, bubbles and crackles. Part of the attraction to these, these products. More damage on the feet. Now these are called masks. I don't know who the mask is. I don't know who the mask is. No idea. It seems to have some kind of ram's horn trim to it, but that might, might just be the trim. But yeah, Caterers have the breasts out. Um, I don't know. It's not Bacchus, I don't think, in this case. So these vases are large. A little hairline here. Fundamentally, they're in good condition. I know they have broken feet, but with something in Maolica, um, it does get damaged more than some types of some other types of pottery. They're very, very big things. They're very statuesque. Very impressive. They haven't got the cheesy, tawdry, tasteless aspects that you get with some modern Maolica or some Italian pottery. For example, Capo di Monte. We have very cheesy scenes. Um, you, you have a man with a fiddle, you have a man smoking a pipe. You have a man with a, with a, with a straw hat. You have all these sort of Capo, Capo di Monte touristy things. The, these are a step above. These are, would have gone to a very expensive home. They're, there's a pair, they're four-sided, four scenes. They are not transfer, as I say. They're, they're, they, are well, they are well painted. That one in particular is well painted. They use the whole, the whole side. I don't know why they, they've done it on that one. Whereas on the other three panels, they have a border. So I don't really know why. Oh, that, actually, that is the same thing. One whole scene. So perhaps they're not a pair, a true pair. They are a pair, a matched pair, perhaps in, in reality. And it might be that the, 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 the manufacturer had a pile of these and the buyer went in and just said, oh, I'll have that one and have that one. And they were, they were similar. So they're not perhaps a true perfect pair. But I think they're very distinctive. I think they are, they are huge, monumental. I think they're very attractive. And uh, in the right place, those aren't going to be showstoppers. I'm going to just hook down the camera to give you a bit of a close up look. And then, I'll, then I'll say goodbye. So, very well painted scenes. Very interesting products. Classic. Thanks for looking. Bye.